What's up guys, we're back on Black Ops Cold War Zombies and today we're gonna to be getting the KSP Dark Aether and seeing how it does against Orda. And really quick, here's my camo progress for the KSP. It looks like I have 160 kills with it already. So not a whole lot, but it does knock out a few camos for us already. We're gonna be throwing on the Cobra Red Dot, the SOCOM Eliminator, the Cavalry Lancer Barrel, Ember Sighting Point, Bruiser Grip, 48 Round Fast Mag, Serpent Wrap, and the SAS Combat Stock. But there's no time to waste. Let's hop on Firebase Z and get this thing done. All right, go ahead and drop me off and let's get this thing started. And this time I will not die on round 12. I will not die on round 13. And I'm starting the rage inducer. Rampage inducer. I always get that wrong. Hey, back off. Ooh, this thing's actually kind of nice. I, I took out this whole like triplet of zombies in one shot. Normally I'm not a fan of burst weapons, but this might be good. <gasps> grab this loose change. And I just remembered that I forgot to grab the loose change back in the first area. So I'm going to go back and get that. Come here. Hey, all of you back up. Okay, we got both our loose changes now. We're allowed to be here. Ooh, double points. Give me that. Love to see some double points. Turn the rampage inducer. Let's open up this door. Grind the rail. Start up the reactor. I got seven seconds. Get this loose change doubled. Let's go. We got it. Oh, there's our first camo of the day. Our gun runner camo. We're making good time so far. Hey, stop breaking this. Let's go. Carpenter to fix it up. And our first reactor is done. Goodbye. Moving on to the next one. I feel like I could do this map basically with like my eyes closed. I've done the same path, getting everything done in the same order every single time. It's like second nature. Ooh, grind this rail. Oh, that was sick. It even curved a little. I bended it like Beckham. One more kill and we got this reactor done. There we go. Get away from me. Okay, two reactors down, one to go. Grind this rail. Oh, I'm like flawless today. I, I kind of like got a little bit of the edge there, but I'm gonna count it. I'm gonna count it. This one though, ready? The short rail. That was so weak. I'd even move. Okay, doing it from here. Ah, uh, whatever. Two attempts is too many. Do I have enough to upgrade this yet? I do. Let's upgrade it. I should always do that in between these two reactors. Just upgrade on my way. I'm always scared I'm going to get caught in that menu. All right. Turn the last reactor on. Come on, zombies. Oh, insta-kill. Insta-kill is kind of risky with burst weapons because you never know where the first shot's going to land. But I think as long as I keep my crosshair up, I'll still be good to get some crits. Except for that guy. Oh, and the reactor's already done. Let's go. Now I'm just going to sit here in kernels till I got enough to get pack-a-punch. We'll go scoop that up and then try to survive the rest of these rounds. I'm always so scared heading back. People were asking why I didn't pack punch last time. I'm I'm just scared of getting killed in that menu. It makes it so hard to like back out of it. And the the area with pack a punch is already so compact that it's just it's just a recipe for disaster. But I think we can we can squeeze it in here. Okay, grab pack a punch. We don't have enough for anything else. We get this loose change. All right, I'm heading back to Colonel's and I'm leaving this one zombie until I get back there because the round will immediately start at right as I kill him. We're not messing around with that. But also since I I always forget in rampage induced rounds here is pack punch one on the ksp honestly i don't know why but this one doesn't look too bad i feel like it's because the stock's more shiny more shimmery uh, that i don't mind the the first camo as much and almost forgot the most important thing okay let's start the round took your sweet time with that shut up pack you. shut up i think we're already all set to just sit in here please knock on wood though every time i start saying oh we're good uh something's going good something awful happens every single time we did just knock out two camos right there let's grab the max ammo oh three camos sorry oh shit why did that scare me i was hearing him walking and screaming i didn't know where he was coming from apparently he was behind me already racking up so many camos look at that another one it always feels good at the start of these camo grinds when you're just getting nothing but them and then it's like okay now get a thousand kills in between each camo so then you go like i don't know eight or 10 rounds without even getting one. Kind of ridiculous. Honestly, I think this is the most set up we've been in a camo grind. We got everything we needed so early, so fast. Didn't go down, knock on wood. But this has been our most successful run yet. This thing is like a crit machine. Hold on, there's a bonus points there. Don't go away. No. Oh, just barely went away. Missed it. All right, we're on round 10 recently. All my assault waves have been coming at like round 13, 14. I think even one time we got one on 15. So I'm kind of hoping we get it sooner rather than later because right when we get it, we're heading back to spawn, hitting the Wonder Fizz up and getting all the perks that we need. There's the Amphibian camo. We're already at 250 crits. That's not bad. And I already have some armor right here. You even have to buy it. Extreme couponing. 
Oh, so many crits. This really helps me conserve my ammo too, since it's a burst weapon. I really just tap my shots instead of holding down on the trigger like I normally would. And it helps out so much with conserving ammo. Because I honestly, if a weapon is full auto, I cannot control myself. It's too much fun to just let every round out of the mag every time you can. Oh, and there's a mimic. I'm hitting a ring of fire. Got way too close for comfort. Didn't want to risk getting swarmed. But we're all good now, and we're still racking up camos. No bonus points are not going away this time. And we're on round 13. Still no assault wave. I'm thinking it's coming at 15. And then we're going to get two of them. Maybe that's what happens in the rampage inducer. Because we'll get one assault wave at 15, and then five rounds later, another one at 20. Like, they just like to tack them on back to back, basically. There it is. It's at 14. I was one off. We have 34,000. We can go back, grab the perks that we need, maybe even get pack a punch if we have some left over if not we'll just grab an ammo mod all right what are the odds there's a mimic over here too just waiting so far so good don't see it but let's go ahead and grab stamina up dead shot jug speed quick revive death perception mule kick and we can go ahead and grab cryo and we're all set and our assault wave has already started and we're not back yet but the one time i say you want to bet there's a mimic there's no mimic every time i go back there there's some like combat bow or something that turns into a mimic they're already doing so much damage to this control unit oh and zombies are already flooding out they're way out here by the box get back in there oh there's so many there's a lot leave it alone it's kind of easy you let him destroy the first one come in here to the second one and they kind of just sit still for crits until the, the whole thing gets overwhelmed. Oh, easy. Look at this. You're not even bothering me. They're so preoccupied with this. And I get rewarded for it. That first assault wave is always such a joke. Grind the rail. Let's go. I think I've only missed like one or two rail grinds this whole time. And I've added a few into here. That one I completely missed. Let's just ignore that one. I'm not even putting the sound effect for it. This one I will. Ooh, clean. And we're home. What is that? Double points. Thank you. And a max ammo. It's got to be programmed in the game. Once you're given a max ammo in the assault wave round or after a dog round or something like that, you will always get a max ammo the very next round. It's basically confirmed at this point. Same with buying ammo. Then one will spawn immediately after. It's like they actually know what they're doing and they're trolling keep bringing it zombies nothing's bringing me down uh-oh except for maybe reloading uh-oh oh no we're chilling i thought i was about to get hounded i'm too much of a beast okay no i am getting hounded even if it's by one zombie it's too many i think our last zombie is that mangler that gets stuck so we can come on over here and upgrade our weapon oh my god a mimic get out of here thanks for the camo dumbass let's get blue and we can get purple upgrade our armor to tier two and you know what we got 30k with one zombie left we might as well just go pack a punch again another mimic here's an idea fuck off all right mangler you're gonna have to slow your roll i need pack a punch now i'm going back also really quick this is what the ksp looks like with pack a punch too pretty nice i wish the ksp had a little better coverage but i do like the little glossy iridescent effect that the rest of the metal gets when it's pack a punch and we're home mangler hurry up and get over here oh my god i think he just respawned in the glitch spot do they do this on purpose just to annoy people that like take advantage of colonel's office oh uh, mimic fuck off lots of zombies coming too we can fight them off uh oh there's a mangler we need ring of fire give me those double points please so far this has been the easiest rampage inducer i've ever used i think we definitely got it down now either that or the ksp is actually this good and it might be the ksp oh i'm getting low ammo no no okay we have a ring of fire let's use it let's also get this max ammo oh our grudge camo 750 kills already with this thing there's another max ammo right there they spawn them in twos i swear goodbye little crawler buddy Oh, there's our assault wave. Round 20, right on the money. Bars again. You know what? We have enough to pack a punch, but I've already been sitting here for, for a second. So we'll have to get it after this round. Or after our rampage inducer is done. All right, here we go. Which one are they coming out of? That one. Watch the stun. Easy points. Let's go. We're all back there. Let's get some crits on them while they're all stunned. Easy. Only a few people didn't get stunned. Making it close range crit action time. Oh shit, there's a mimic behind me. Oh my god, you sneaky fuck. Give me that camo. Dude, this thing even with hip fire is kind of nasty. Look at this mangler. He doesn't know what to do. Gone. Okay, the KSP is so good. I was not expecting it to be this disgusting. Now I'm really curious to see how it does against Horda. It might not have the range, but I think once he gets a little closer, this thing's gonna tear him up. Last zombie. Watch this. 360, 720, 180. Uh, math. 
gone. Rampage Inducer is done. So we'll leave a zombie at the end of this round. We'll go get Pack-a-Punch 3, and then we're set up for, like, life, basically. We completely survived a Rampage Inducer without dying on our first try. We're actually evolving over here and still getting camos. You know, I always say I'm not a fan of burst weapons, but I've been using the M16 a lot when I'm just playing zombies trying to do, like, normal challenges. And this KSP is pretty nice. I might like them a lot more in zombies than I do in multiplayer. We have one zombie. Let's go get Pack-a-Punch. All right, grab Pack-a-Punch 3. There we go. Can we upgrade at all? Nope, but we can get our armor to tier 3. And this is what the KSP looks like with Pack-a-Punch 3 on it. Still my favorite Pack-a-Punch camo. The pink and the purple go together so well. It's such a clean color combo, honestly. All right, really quick, let's check on our crits to kills. We're at 611 crits to 745 kills. Not bad. We're not too far off. There's our downfall camo. 750 kills while it's packed. This thing's already doing so much damage, like four to 9,000 per crit. There's our boundary camo. 750 crits. We're doing so well on camos right now. But we're at the point where it's going to be a while until we see our next one. Mimic? No, thank you. Oh, oh, look at the mech. Look at the mech. 69 bullets. 69 bullets. This is honestly so effortless. I'm surprised I haven't used this gun yet. This thing is a monster. I never hear anybody talking about the KSP. I had like an absolutely awful time grinding this thing out in multiplayer. But in zombies, this thing is disgusting. Round 26. Shout out me. Why am I just now noticing that this dude has a lamp under his desk? Why? Pick that up. Plus, you already have a lamp right here. How many lamps do you need? And two phones? Was this Kevin Gates' office? I wonder what would happen if I could just close this door, you know, put the, these desks in front of it, and then just move this cabinet in front of this window. I could literally just live in here. I don't have to worry about any zombies. Food would become an issue, though. Like, with within minutes, I think. But speaking of food, that new Outbreak Survival Mode is coming soon. I think tomorrow at the time I'm uploading this, there's supposed to be the Numbers event, and they're adding the Psy, a new melee weapon coming here to Cold War. They also might add in that Outbreak survival mode on the same day so i'm excited for that hold on mimic i gotta reload thanks thanks for understanding you know what? i'm just gonna say it this might be one of the best smgs gonna have to ring a fire here too much stuff happening but honestly the second i pop it all the problems are alleviated every zombie just gets melted especially with this insta kill okay this thing with insta kill is kind of busted look i'm gonna get all these zombies in a line here and shoot one shot Look at that. I just killed like 14 zombies in one burst. This literally collapsed more than a sniper does. Mangler, how many times do I have to teach you this lesson? Stop getting stuck. I, I for sure think that's intentional. That would have been fixed like in season two or whenever Firebase released. But nope, they just do it to mess with people that sit in kernels. Oh, bloodshot camo. Let's go. 1,500 kills. Gotta hit a ring of fire though because there's too much shit going on in here. Oh, uh, I don't want to have to use my ring of fire. So I'm going to stun. Just in case we have Orda next round, I don't want to be without a ring of fire. And it looked like it worked out pretty well. I just need that one second to reload. There's our drench camo. 1,500 balls pack a punch. I'm sure our crit's not too far behind. I honestly can't get over how crazy overpowered this gun is. Does nobody talk about the KSP? Is this the forgotten weapon? Round 32, still no Orda. He's dodging us. He loves to dodge us in Outbreak. He loves to dodge us here on Firebase C. I think we've just given him a beating so much throughout this last year that he just does not want to show up anymore. Lots of zombies. Doesn't matter. Don't even need a ring of fire. Don't need it. KSP's too good for a ring of fire. I do need a stun though, so I can reload. And that was such a quick reload. We're already back to it. Slamming crits down. Okay, now we need a ring of fire. Damn it. Now we're not going to have one for Orda. Hopefully he takes this round off. Because I feel like he always waits until I use my ring of fire to come in. And yep, just like that. All I had to do was use it and he showed up. Okay, so I'm going to have to wait for the zombies to spawn in. And then like throw nades at him and get my ring of fire back up. Can we upgrade this to legendary? We can, right in time. We get to see this weapon's full potential against Orda. All right, Orda, come on down. You're the next contestant on Come Get Fucked. Let's see. Come on. Oh, it still does decent damage without a ring of fire from this distance. 1200 is not bad bad for an smg and that's per bullet and it shoots in little groups of three let's throw this nade down here get our ring of fire need one more might need a little more than that actually oh there's a whole nother wave easy okay, we have our ring of fire let's use it doing almost 2,000 damage 2,000 damage 21,000 yeah the closer he gets 21,000 2,100 it's looking like the closer he gets the more damage we do and he's already at a quarter health zombies are starting to catch up to me though oh shit hold on let me take care of these bad boys Oh, he's, he's, he's critting. He's, he's prolapsing. We got to get him. Even from right here. 2,400. Not bad. Hey, zombies, leave that alone. Lots of zombies coming this way. Hold on. I want to get one more ring of fire on this guy. Okay, we might not get the opportunity to get another ring of fire. Let's just end him. This thing's beastly as it is. Goodbye, Orda. Thanks for stopping by, but uh, sorry to see you go. Yeah, this thing's a tank. Completely messed up, Orda. 
Let's grab our rewards. And we're going right back home. Okay, now I can use these ring of flyers without worrying about if Ord is coming. So we already know this thing can take it out without it. With our threshold camo, 1,500 crits. We got 1,000 to go for everything now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Never mind. KSP is too good. There's no situation this thing can't get out of. Uh-oh. Okay, maybe this situation might be a little different. Let me throw a stun. Oh, we're cutting it close here. But we can make it out. We have a ring of fire just in case. Okay, this thing does not need it. It's actually so good. And the fucking mangler stuck again. Come on, dude. Get with the program. Okay, our ratio, we have 2,021 kills, 1,580 two crits our ratio has fallen off quite a bit but we did get a lot of kills with semtex is trying to get our ring of fire so can't be too mad we're still making really good progress here oh stun oh another stun i'm throwing stuns till they're all gone gotta reload there's a crawler on the ground uh oh uh oh ring of fire time okay that was my first very very close situation there i threw like three stuns and still had a ring of fire getting a little hectic over here crits are just so easy from this spot holy shit no mimic no no hit that's bad that's mean mangler please dude spawn correctly oh oh never mind anytime i feel like i'm in a tough situation with this thing i always get right out of it speaking of which we got the rotten camo so that means pack a punch not too far behind and then crits just a little behind that we're almost done with this thing oh i'm gonna need a stun here I'll stun again, just for convenience. Ah, uh, another stun, please. Woo! Another stun. Don't knock me. No knocks. We're not. We're doing no knock November. Uh, during September. Stun. Okay, everybody needs to leave right now. Stun again. I almost have my ring of fire. We're almost there. One more stun, and we'll hit the ring of fire and just kill everything. Just completely evaporate this whole room. I don't know why these guys are all of a sudden getting the balls to run around the other side of the desk, but I don't like it. They should not be getting smarter. It is not fair. But we did just completely mess up this entire room. Not a sole survivor besides me. Oh, reload. There's our chemical camo. All of our pack punch kills are done. Just got to really focus on these crits here. We might be able to get out of here with Dark Aether and Fight Orta one more time. But I'm starting to feel like I might need Elemental Pop because things are getting close and that Electric Cherry will help out so much. I already know this last Mangler stuck, so I'm going to work my way to him. Like, come on, dude. We need a stun. I need another stun. Oh my, Lanta, I'm so low health. One more stun. Please don't knock me. I'm just throwing stuns. One more. All right, we're barely surviving here. Another stun. Holy shit. Yeah, we might need elemental pop. One more stun. We're all out of them now. Bring a fire. We're gonna go get elemental after this next round. Actually, we might as well just go do it right now. Okay, hey, so this thing is a monster up until about round 40. Then when you need to reload, you're just gonna get dogpiled. It still does really good damage. It's just that he, there's not enough ammo in the world to go around once you get up to this high of a round. Let's grab elemental pop. We might as well grab tombstone as well and repair our armor. And I have a feeling Orda's gonna be here right after I kill this guy. Nope, I felt wrong. Ugh, Mangler, you're getting on my nerves. This is the most I've ever had this dude be stuck over here. Oh, wait, he's not even there. Where, where the hell is he? I can hear him. Why is he spawning all the way down here? Why are you at the Assault Wave Beach? You're not supposed to be there. But we got Orda coming. One last dance with Orda. Oh, I was already at the right beach. No wonder he spawned all the way down there. All right, Orda, you ready for round two? You piece of shit. Come on down here. Go ahead, spawn. Instantly coming at him. Already did a decent bit. Yeah, this thing kind of slays. Let's get our ring of fire. So easy sum taxes are going down. Got it halfway there. Looking good now. Okay, we have our ring of fire. Let's use it. Ooh, chunking Orda's health. We got some zombies pulling up on us, though. Gotta take these guys out. Let's use a little bit of this against Orda. Okay, zombies go away. I have business to take care of. Come here, Orda. Let's go, crit spot. Give me that. He's already at half health. I have a whole lot of zombies coming this way. I'm gonna hit him with a Semtex. This dog is stuck here floating. It's a meteor. I've seen that happen twice now. I don't know how rare that is, but it's kind of annoying to listen to. Wait, just listen. It's kind of funny, though, at the same time. Okay, let's throw another Semtex. Maybe get our Ring of Fire again. We're so close. He's about to yell, too. Let's go. Hit the crit. Oh, come on, zombies. Not now. Not while he's critting. We have our Ring of Fire. Let's just use it. Very low ammo. I'm going to buy some ammo. Run back into it. Throw a nade. Come on, Orda. You know you want to go down. He's so close. I'm not even paying attention to the zombies behind me. I don't care. I don't care. Orda's going down. Let's go. We got him. Bye, Orda. Let's look at the, let's look at the dog while he dies. Look at the puppy. Ah! 
Oh, there's another one. Look at this guy. He's just sitting here. I wonder for how long. Can I jump on him? Goomba stomp. Oh, I went right through him. Hold on. Let's try Let's try it one more time. 360 jump? Yeah, I go right through him. Can I kill him? Oh, he disappeared. No. I like how when I shot him, I fully knew that he might go away and I still got sad about it. Okay, exfil just opened. If I can get Dark Aether in this round, I will exfil. But so far, we have not gone down a single time and I kind of want to keep it that way. So just give me, give me Dark Aether and I'll be on my way, zombies. That's, that's just the easiest way for me to get out of here. Come on, go ahead. Show me Gold Viper, please, please. Oh my God, please. Stun. Oh, another stun, go. No, 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 no going down. Another stun, come on. One more stun, baby. Ring of fire time. No going down today. Not happening, that was so close. I cannot believe I survived that. Holy shit. That was such a close call. Oh my god, another round, another stuck Mangler. Dude, come on. And the exfil window closed. Are you happy, Mangler? Are you happy? Dickhead. And if you look at my crits there, he was the last kill above 420. So now we're at 421. Wow, what a dick. No exfil and no 420. Still gonna smoke though. Oh, there's Gold Viper. Of course, it comes right at the start of this round. We finally got it. Now we only have like one weapon left to unlock Dark Aether with. We have almost everything. It's gonna be sad once we do that. This grinding camels is my favorite part of CODs and now we're like done. I've definitely been like savoring it and leaving these weapons. You now it's something for me to do. Or the wells almost run dry. All right, zombies, come take care of me. We had no downs going into this, but we finally got Gold Viper. There's no point in staying. Our exfil window's already gone. We won the round while we were down somehow. That's just how good we are. These zombies don't know what to do. But like respect to them, they, they're like savages but when you get knocked down they leave you alone they know not to kick a man while he's down but there you have it oh 469 score sex 3500 eliminations 2500 crits just about a lot of our kills though came from nades of me trying to get ring of fire against orda well i'm not gonna count that against me not being very good with headshots because this ksp is amazing actually it does very very well all right really quick let's look at what the ksp looks like with these mastery camos here's gold viper absolute trash the coverage on on the ksp you could definitely be way better i don't know why they decided to you know only cover just a little bit of the gun but that's neither here nor there like diamond always looks really good there's something happening over here though the textures are like jumping a bit i don't know what's going on and then there's dark aether it, it definitely could be way better but let's go ahead and hop in game and see if it looks better in there all right this is what the ksp looks like in game honestly looks way better in game when you're holding the gun just normally you can see a lot of the camo and then when you inspect it it still looks pretty clean Still wish it covered more of the gun, but this honestly isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Looks pretty crisp, pretty clean. Just, you know, wish there was more camo coverage. But that's going to do it for me. If you guys like this and you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.